All right, and this is Fireman, and today we're going to take a look at on how to shoot projectiles like these. So we can instantiate little bullets or spheres and shoot them around. It's a pretty easy tutorial. I have all the code ready for you, so you don't need to write a line of code. And yeah, just enjoy. Okay, so we start off in this very basic scene. This is actually the prefab scene from the standard assets that you can download from the Unity store for free. And I added in a crosshair, which I, by the way, showed in another tutorial how to do. So if you want to learn how to do that, check out the tutorial in the description below. I linked it for you. Now, I want to add a shooting functionality so I can shoot prefabs or projectiles through this crosshair. So let's get right into that. So let's go out of the game mode here and let's start off by actually creating what we are going to shoot. So in my case, I'm just gonna create a simple sphere and I'm gonna modify that a little bit so it looks a little bit smaller and maybe give it a different material. So maybe red, a hot bullet kind of thing and uh, I also want to give it a rigid body. All right, so that's the first thing. I also want to give it a little script because once I shoot that bullet out, I want it to vanish after I think like five seconds. So uh, also let's give that the name bullet. And now let's add a component here and we're going to add a script. So we're going to call that project tile controller I'm actually going to copy that so by the way the whole code you don't need to write it yourself I already provided it for you here we have a Firemind Academy and we have an article to this tutorial and you can copy the code from here I'm going to explain a little bit about the code but I'm not expecting you to write every single line so you can just go ahead to my website and copy it from there I linked it in the description below so, so we go to the projectile controller. I'm gonna copy the name of it so it actually is the same. Add a new script, create an ad, and then if you click on edit script, you end up with those basic functionalities here that you always get when you create a new script. So go over to the website, copy the code from here, and then insert it into this and that way once this is attached to that bullet this will destroy itself after five seconds so basically pass a reference to itself and then destroy it in five seconds so save that go back to your scene and then you can see that that script is attached now you want to make this a prefab so we can instantiate it later so let's just pick any folder here that you like um, I'm probably going to just put it in the prefabs folder. So let's just drag that in there and bam, you have a prefab. Now we can delete the bullet from our scene. We don't need it for now. What we want to do now is we want to create a kind of gun where the bullets are going to be coming from. So let's create that. So we want to go to our first person character. And then if you have a camera attached to it, probably want to click the camera as well. And then create an empty, which is going to be our gun so let's give that the name gun and from here we will instantiate our bullets now this should probably not be like in right in the middle of the character we want this to be a little bit in front so what I'm gonna do here is to illustrate where it actually is in space I'm gonna uh, create a 3d object on that which is gonna be a capsule and this is gonna show me where the player is and then for the bullet I'm gonna create a little sphere I'm gonna scale that down and now I want to click that gun and move it in front of the player so the bullets are actually instantiated in front of the player not like somewhere else so let's move that out here that looks fine and then also check the game menu so this is actually right in the middle of your crosshair so your bullets are actually instantiated like right in the middle Okay, so now we get to the main part, which is attaching a script on our gun, which actually instantiates those bullets. So let's 
click our gun, click on add component, and now we're gonna add the shooting controller. So go back to our website, and here we're gonna click or gonna copy the shooting controller. And gonna add a new script. Now, if you click on edit that script, end up with those standard kind of things, and then we go and copy the code for this. All right, so now we end up with this kind of thing. I'm gonna quickly go through the code, what it does. So basically, it says if you press the left mouse button, then check if the player is allowed to shoot already. Um, you can set a rate in which the player is allowed to shoot, so you can make this like two seconds, so you can only shoot every two seconds. And if all of that is the case, let's create our bullet in the position where our gun is, and then apply a force to it, and um, which basically makes it shoot up. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's go back to Unity. And once we saved our saved our shooting controller, we can see we have all these options here. So we want to apply a force of a thousand here and then a thousand on the shoot force as well. A shoot rate, I'm just going to leave at zero so it can shoot a lot of bullets. And then for the bullet, we want to get our prefab and drag that on here. And then for the gun, let's just get the gun itself. Now we don't need that sphere anymore. It was just for orientation. So let's delete that and also delete our capsule. And now when we hit play, what we should end up with is a shootable kind of projectiles that destroy themselves in about five seconds. Yep, so you can see they are vanishing after some time. And yeah, that's pretty much it already. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you like this tutorial, please leave me a like. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you have any other tutorial requests, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a Title, Topic, and Description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.